So if you're going to be involved in creating websites and web programming, or even just for your own edification, I like that word, edification, uh, it's good to know about the internet and the World Wide Web and its history and just sort of like what's going on, some of the big things that are happening in that space. So I'm just going to, in this section here of a couple of videos, we're going to learn the fundamentals of the internet and the World Wide Web. And the first thing we're going to look at is the history of the internet. So the internet, you know, is something that's actually been around since the 1960s. And the first successful message uh, sent over the internet was in 1969. It was sent from UCLA to Stanford, and they tried to send the word login, and they sent L, and then they sent O, and then the G, the system crashed, and they weren't able to send the G. But that was the first message sent on the internet. This often surprises people. They're like, whoa, 1969, the internet was back in the 60s? Yeah, it was back in the 60s. And it started out from this place called DARPA. So originally, it wasn't even called the internet. It was called the ARPANET, A-R-P-A-N-E-T. You could see that over there on the left, right? But the, it was called the ARPANET because it came out of DARPA. Well, what is DARPA? So DARPA is the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. And so basically, this is like in the James Bond movies where James Bond goes and visits Q. And Q is like, okay, I've got this rich wristwatch, which is really a bomb, and here's a pen, which is a gun. And here's your awesome Aston Martin car. Apparently DARPA, <laughs> DARPA's website is super slow. But DARPA is that equivalent in the United States. They are the ones who are creating you know, advanced research projects. They're creating technology for defense. So all kinds of interesting projects going on. Uh, currently, they do all, all kinds of interesting things. Robots, all that stuff. You could explore their website. All right. So it came out of DARPA. It came out of the military. Why did the military want to create this internet thing? <laughs> why would they ever actually want to do that? And the reason why they wanted to create it, let me just launch this presentation once again. The reason why they wanted to create it was because of nuclear war. And uh, in the event of nuclear war, they wanted communication to be able to continue. They wanted people to continue communicating. And the problem with the current communication system, the current telecommunication system, was that it was a circuit network, meaning if somebody in LA wanted to talk to somebody in Washington, DC, an actual circuit was connecting them from LA to DC. And if that circuit got destroyed, so maybe those telephone wires went through Denver, and if Denver got blown up, the person in L.A. is no longer talking to the person in Washington, D.C. And they're like, well, we, we need to have communication continue as our cities get blown up. <laughs> Humans are insane. And so they created the packet switching network. And you can pause this video right here and you can kind of take a look at this graphic. And this graphic kind of shows how the packet switching network works. And so in a packet switching network, the message that you're sending somebody gets broken up and sent over a network and routers determine which routes are still viable and then they send the packet the message on that route so that's uh that's how the internet was originally envisioned that's how it was created and that's how it works today so you can see that here where a little email message is split up into three packages and it says if they're addressed so they're given addresses and then they're sent in frame three there. They're just thrown onto the network. And the routers say, okay, you need to get to this location. In the example, University of Colorado. And which route can I take? And so they choose a route, which is viable. And then they send it over that route. And then all the different packets could go different routes. And when they get to the recipient, you can see that in step four there, the message gets reassembled. So pretty amazing the way that works. But the key technology behind it is this difference between circuit switching, where an actual switch, you know, is made between the two locations, and packet switching, where, you know, it could be any route along the network to get a message to somebody. So uh, that's the history of the Internet. We use TCP IP for the rules of communication on the internet. That stands for Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol. So transmission control, the control of the transmissions. Protocol, 
protocols are rules by which things are done. So the control of transmission rules or the rules of communication, right? That's TCP, transmission control protocol and internet protocol for being on the internet. So uh, yeah, HTTP uses TCP and uh, that, that's how it works. That's a little bit of a, hist of a history of the internet. It's good to know about. Internet started back in 1969 and the original purpose of it, it was originally called ARPANET. It was created by DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. Slowly it was opened up to the academics and then the public you know, in the 80s, academics, and the 90s, the public. And, uh, you know, originally called ARPANET, DARPA, uh, and it was created to avoid nuclear war. That's the other end of the picture. All right, so it's a little bit of a history of the Internet. Good to know about. And you'll notice that I didn't say anything about the World Wide Web. That's because the World Wide Web was created in uh, the early 90s. Uh, the idea of it was in the 80s, but then created and running in the early 90s. And we're going to learn about that in the next video.